Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today we will be solving one gate question on the engineering mathematics basically, right? So uh, generally like yeah, we study all the topics, right? So I thought like maybe you may have skipped this topic right in the statistics where we have to uh, calculate the best feet line basically, okay? So this was introduced like uh, like previously only one time I think it got asked right in the previous year only. So uh, very rarely we study this look like if you know the formula, if you know the concept, you can skip this video, right? Basically, I will just tell you the formula and how to calculate right the best fit uh, line basically how to calculate the slope and the uh, intercept y intercept basically if you know only the concept you can skip this because I, I won't be telling anything new but if you don't know then do watch right do watch the video completely so uh, so that you can revise or you have if you are forgetting uh, forgotten the concept of the best fit line right you can still watch the video to revise the formulas and stuff right so what is the question telling us so this question is basically from the statistics part okay from the stats so generally uh, we neglect that part right but uh, sometimes get also give us surprises so they gave surprises to the electrical people right statistics okay so we have been given three points three data points we have been given x and y coordinates right in the 2d plane we have to find the value of the slope of the best fit straight line in the least coincidence basically it is uh, telling us to find the m value of m uh, using the best uh, using the least square method okay so basically there are two methods of solving this question first method is if you don't know anything right in the exam hall if you don't know any formula or anything you just want to approximate it like with a basic aptitude so that's how you do this so first we have to understand what do we mean by straight line so straight line what does a straight line mean so we have been given three points right so let me uh, mark those points on the uh, axis x y coordinates so if i mark those points on the x y coordinates So one of them was in the negative direction also. So one of them was in the negative direction. So minus one point eight. So this is minus one and point eight. So I'm writing somewhere around here, right? And what is this? This is zero two point two. So zero two point two. This is another point and this is 1 2.8 so basically x y right x y so 1 2.8 okay uh, like what okay i think i have made a bit of uh, yeah, 0 0.8 2.2 2. but this will be more nearer to this so what you can see is like we can't obviously have a straight line that is passing through all these three points right we can't right like with basic aptitude i'm trying to solve this right now we can't have all the three points lie on a straight line so what I will do is I will draw two straight lines. I will draw one of them, one of the straight lines like this, okay, and the other straight line like this. Now what does a straight line has like its parameters, right? So let me check what does a straight line has. So straight line, right? A straight line is defined like this. So y equals to m x plus c or b even right the y intercept basically so if y is equals to mx plus c can i write these two okay and m is the slope that is what this question is asking the value of the slope right we have to find the value of the slope for the west way straight line so what i will do i will try to minimize the error i will try to like take these two straight lines okay calculate the slope for these two straight lines then what i will do i will take the average of these two and i will get another straight line that will give me the minimum error obviously this is a approximate method right so so method one is basically approximate method without any formulas approximate method without any formula right so this is my y equals to mx plus c and this m is the slope and this y is like uh, x and y are the coordinates and b is the y intercept so what i will do i will write the straight line equation for these two okay and then calculate the slope of these two right then i will take the average of these two and i will put it here so obviously you might say sir but this is obviously a approximate measure method Th uh, this won't give me the correct answer yes but you don't even know anything right you don't even know the formula so if i'm in the exam hall and i want to just take a bit of wild guess right and this is better than a wild guess this is a calculative guess so in gate examination right few questions may come where you can take a calculative guess basically 
you know a bit of concept and with the help of your aptitude you can find the answer here so let's write the equation for the line 1 and for line 2 okay line 1 and line 2 so basically for line 1 i have two points this is the first point what was the what are the xy coordinates this is minus 1 comma 0 0.8 and this is 0 comma 2.2 and this point is 1 comma 2.8 so basically just put y value right so first equation for line 1 for line 1 right for line 1 what i can do this is minus 1 uh, this is 0.8 x is minus 1 m i will write m1 this is the slope of the first line so m1 is the slope of the first line m1 into minus 1 because x is minus 1 this time plus b b is the unknown obviously m and b i want to find out so how to find m and b obviously i need to have two equations that's why we solve li uh, simultaneous linear equations right if i have two unknowns and if i have two equations then i can easily find the value of m and b okay this is the first equation and what about the second equation second equation is uh, y is 2.2 okay y is 2.2 and my x is 0 right into m1 plus b this is b1 actually like this is b1 and this is b1 okay so now what i will do simply subtract these two okay subtract this equation you can name this as equation 1 2 i'm not naming them okay subtract 1 and 2 right what you will get is like okay one thing i mean yeah this is minus 1 right so what i will write this is 0 0.8 minus m1 plus b1 and this is 2.2 0 because 0 times m1 is 0 plus b1 now just simply subtract these two right simply subtract these two what you will get you will get minus 1.6 equals to minus m1 so m1 equals to 1.6 this is the approximated value right approximated value now let's calculate the m2 basically so for m2 right again i will uh, write the equations for line 2 for line 2 this is uh, again this equation will be same only right this equation will be same only okay just m1 will be replaced with m2 so 2.2 equals to 0 times m2 because i am calculating the slope of the second line plus b2 b2 is the y-intercept of the second line right okay y-intercept uh, slope all these things i hope you understand right these are basic eight nine things so now what is the this third line uh, equation basically so here x is 1 and y is 2.8 so 1 times plus this m2 into b2 now i will simply subtract these two right if i subtract these two what would i get i get minus 0.6 here this is minus m2 and b2 gets cancelled out so m2 is getting uh, m2 is 0.6 right now m2 is 0.6 so i can write here that my m approximate okay this is just approximation and this you use this method only when you don't know anything you don't know anything right it goes to m average okay this is how you use the aptitude basically so this is m1 plus m2 divided by 2 this is basically 1.6 plus 0 0.6 divided by 2 now it most it may so happen that uh, your answer may not lie in the range but this time we are lucky it was just in the range it was 1.1 right if, if options come right if options come then you can easily eliminate the options now if entity comes you don't know like you don't know what it, what are the answers so you are not able to eliminate the options right so that is one issue but here you put 1.1 and we were lucky enough that 1.1 was just in the range the range was 0.9 to 1.1 i think so 1.1 was just in the range right? as it mentioned right we have to round off to two decimal places so yeah uh this is how you do this if you don't know anything now let's come to the method two basically in which we use the formula of statistics okay we use the formula of statistics uh where we use the formula of least square method so let's study about the best fit line the best fit line is a straight line that is the best approximation of the given set of data so we have been given this like three data right three data points so we have been let's say we have two axes right two axes we have x and y okay and let's say we have been given some points right so we want to 
approximate the best line that can pass th- uh, that can pass through all the points obviously it can't pass through all the points because like it is impossible to pass through all these points with the, with the help of a simple straight line right but the error must be minimum we want to minimize the error okay so let's say our approximated straight line is like this uh, in which the error is minimum so the slope of this straight line and the y intercept of this straight line so it may may happen that it isn't passing through origin it, it may happen right it may happen it is passing through uh sorry passing through here itself right it may so happen anything may happen right so yeah that that values of the slope and the y intercept we can find using the least square method there are, there are other methods also but the least square method is the most famous one okay in least square method basically what do we do so uh, let me yeah take another page least square method basically what we want to do we want to fit like we want to write an equation like this y equals to mx plus uh, b right basically straight line okay now this m is the basically slope of the best fit line and this b is basically the uh, this y in intercept right b is basically the y intercept like when my x is 0 this is what my y co- coordinate is so b is basically the y intercept right so uh, now uh, basically how to find this m and b so using the uh, least square method so least square method has given us three formulas right so this is these are the formulas obviously these are derived i don't have enough time to derive all these things right so obviously i will directly go to the formula least square method let me bring this bit down so uh, least square method right so what will be the value of m basically so value of m will be summation of i how many number of data points you have so let's say you have n data points right in our case we have three data points which is equals to xi xi is like that particular point i will just when we will write down the table we will understand it and this x bar what is x bar x bar is basically the mean so f- before this right let me define what is x bar x bar is basically the mean all the average of all the x values so it is basically summation of all x i right i equals to 1 to n divided by n and y bar is, is basically equals to y i n divided by uh, sorry i equals to 1 to n divided by n okay so this is what uh, y bar is right so let me just reduce the size of all this these are not that no so this is into simply uh, y i minus y bar divided by so this is whole thing in summation right whole thing in summation divided by x i minus x bar whole square so how do i remember this basically i like this is some correlation type form right so basically this is x y and in the denominator obviously the powers need to be same here i have like this is multiplicating multiplied twice so here also power needs to be two so this is two and in the denominator i have x i minus x bar so this is how i remember simply x i minus x bar will be repeated but this will be repeated twice and this is this is y so this has to be something different right so that's why we have y here okay so just uh, think of a way how to remember this formula right so yeah this is what my m value will be now what will be my b so b right b will be if i just take the mean of the whole equation right this will be y bar equals to like I, I have found out my m after that this i will write x bar plus b okay so b will be simply equals to y bar minus m x bar okay this will be my b so these are the two formulas basically like i hope like uh, you 
are able to recall what you learn right uh, during your preparation so okay so let's basically complete the table so we have three data points right so we have three data points one two three okay and uh, we have like uh, what x values x values are uh, minus one zero one so minus one zero one okay so minus one zero one okay and what are my y values y values are basically this right 0 0.8 2.2 2.8 0 0.8 2.2 2.8 0 0.8 2.2 2.8 okay and like what i what is my like now x x mean x mean right x mean will be simply equals to what zero right because minus one zero plus one is zero by three total number of uh samples that we have right so this is x mean equals to zero y mean equals to 3 and 2.8 so it is 5.8 by 3 which is uh, almost equals to 1.94 1.94 we'll just write this in small okay 1.94 now like what is my xi minus x bar same only because x bar is, x bar is 0 right x bar is 0 itself so it will be same that is minus one okay i will do right minus one zero one okay but my uh, yi has changed right yi has changed so yi minus y bar what is it so simply right it is uh i have to subtract this one so this will be minus one point one four and I have to subtract this with this so this is 0 0.06 then 0 0.26 right and this is 0. Point another 6 86 okay 0 0.86 so these are my yi minus y bar so now let's do the simple multiplication so minus 1 into this okay we can we can simply do hand calculation here also minus 1 into this so this becomes plus 1.14 okay and 0 into this so this becomes 0 itself and 1 into this this becomes 0 0.86 okay 0 0.86 basically okay so we, we are doing hand calculation here so it may so happen you don't need to always use the calculator always try to use your hand calculation mental calculation whenever possible because using the gate calculator may also uh, happen that you may you might make some mistake in the gate calculator right while uh, giving the values right while giving the values there so now we have to find the summation of this one okay because we have in the formula we have the summation right here we have the summation so what is the summation summation is simply 2 okay summation is simply 2 now what is xi minus x mean school square simply it is xi whole square because x mean is 0 so xi whole square is like what is minus 1 whole square 1 0 whole square 0 1 whole square 1 again the summation of this is 2 simply what will be my m become so my m right m will be simply 2 by 2 because it was basically summation of this divided by summation of this one so 2 by 2 okay which is 1 so m i got 2 uh, 1 okay and that is my answer 1 is my answer okay here 1 is my answer and if you want to find like the y intercept just simply do one thing like for b right you have to find y mean what is y mean y mean is simply uh 1.94 right 1.94 so we write here 1.94 minus 1 m times x mean x mean is 0 okay so b will be y mean itself b will be 1.94 so if if they would have asked like what will be my y intercept of the best fit line then this would be my answer right y intercept okay so yeah that is it for this video and i will see you in the next lecture of any conceptual question series right thank you for watching